Okay, what I'm going to do now is to do a stock test of the um, uh, 3090, well, liquid cool 3090. Here are the settings, power limits on normal, um, temperature limit, core clock, etc. This is MSI afterburner over here. It's currently 40 degrees C, it's about 24, 25 degrees uh, ambient temperature here. Going to run this um, uh, benchmark super position at the 4K optimized setting, which uh, maybe looks pretty good at that. So let's start that up. Takes a little while to load. I'm expecting from previous testing to get about 15,308 as the stock score, somewhere around about that. It varies with the temperature and whatever else I've, uh, I'm doing. There are some things running in the background, obviously MSI afterburners there, and the NVIDIA recording software, and uh, various other things as well. So this is not a perfect test, and there's going to be some variability between this and uh, what happens otherwise. This is a really good looking benchmark by the way. I'm going to chop it off don't want to see all of this, so I don't want to see it repeated endlessly. I've reorganized the MSI afterburner display to show a bit more information in a, a bit more friendly way. I did want to get it to show the um, um, overclocking information from ADA64. But um, yeah, I wasn't able to work out exactly how to do that, or at least I haven't done it yet anyway. Um, I'll probably do that over the next next day or so, if I can do it, that is. Might not even be possible, but I thought I'd give it a go. I could import other things in from here to 64 and put them in MSI afterburner. But I couldn't seem to get the um, overclocking data um, in there. I can hear the fans ramping up now if we're looking at the um, data, the CPU fan speed is up to 48%, 1500 RPM, so it's making a little bit of noise, it's not very noisy at all, it's a very hot day here today too, so the GPU temperature has gone up to 58, usage at 96%, we're on scene 12 of 17 of this particular benchmark. frames per second here. You can see the driver version in the MSI uh, afterburner display as well as 471.41. The CPU is hardly um, moving. CPU uses 12%, 11%, probably a lot less than it would be in a game. So, just coming up to the last scene of this particular benchmark, and there we go, 15.271, make a note of that. It's about the same as I got the last time. Okay, well you've just seen the run at the, with everything at stock, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, go up here to MSI Afterburner and I'm going to put in some kind of overclock, put the power limit up, I'm going to increase the core clock by um, 250, I'm not going to bother with the memory at the moment, I'm going to apply that. Okay, and we can uh, keep all the settings the same here in superposition. I can run it. See what happens. That's plus 250 megahertz. The score we just got previously was uh, 15,271. 
So we'll see if this works okay. It looks like it's going a bit faster. Temperature looks, we'll have to check. Looks like it's a bit higher. GPU memory clock, core clock, I mean. 1935, 1920, 1950. I didn't uh, put any um, overclock on the GPU memory because uh, well, when I tried that before, it heated up a lot substantially and that seemed to reduce the ability of the rest of the system to perform well. And so basically it slowed everything down because it heated up so much. I'm not 100% sure there's, there's not anything I can do about that. Um, there may be some, some ways to mitigate that. But uh, maybe this for another day. I can always uh, do another run with the memory um, upgraded as well. Okay, we're up to 59 degrees C on the graphics card, this is scene 9 of 17 still looks great GPU usage this time 15%, 16 maybe slightly higher, GPU, CPU temperature it's at 66, 67 With my phone going off in the background, I don't know if you can hear that I'll oh, just ignore that for now We're up to 60 centigrade on the GPU, which is usually the maximum it ever gets to. I'm not entirely sure that it's not throttling back. At that, look at the core clock, 1935. I saw it briefly touch 61 once or twice on the full, full load. But it didn't go beyond that, so I'm wondering if there's something in the BIOS. I see 61 just flashed up there. There it is again. Something in the BIOS which um, stops it getting any hotter than that. Throttles at that. Fan use is only 53%. Uh, also, the, the, we can't really change these fans. They seem to be uh, on a stock setting. And there we are finished. And uh, we get a score of 16,465 compared to 15,271 previously so that's an increase of uh, 1,200 and uh, well, ish, around about there anyway that's the result of a very simple overclock just plus 250 megahertz on the uh, uh, core clock